Kal Halalium, La Yahawo, Bahasham, Shal Yahawo Shai, Baha Rakha Kodash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahawo, the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, in the name of Yahawo Shai, the Son's only Hebrew name, who the world ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, Jesus, Yeshua, etc., in the Holy Spirit, the Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the sincere Akim. 144,000 men, the one third men, women, children as pushing truth and holding on to the faith as best as they can. Now, right now, we have Bashim Yoshai. You know, he's trying spirit and you know, just a slight testimony. I'll try my spirit to help me understand that there's a time and a reason for everything. And I try to cram everything into one day or, you know, burden yourself with, with unnecessary stuff. Keep your eyes single, all right. I'm not gonna go into that preset, but um, this lesson's about there's a time for everything, right? And you gotta be spiritually discerned, or you gotta or apply discernment, apply that there's a time for everything, all right? It says Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1 to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose on the on the heaven. So everything the most I created, everything the most I've done, is for a specific time, a specific season. The most I is a perfectionist, all right? And it goes into a time to born, a time to kill, a time to weep, etc. But what I want to get to is um, just the points. Keep this video small and edifying. I want to see it to Wadi Hauba Hashem Yoshai for putting the spirit on me to do another lesson, all right? It says, um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 17, I said in my heart, yeah. I said in my heart, the most I shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. So there's a time for every purpose. Your purpose in the camp, we need to understand what's our purpose in the camp. We need to understand our purpose in this truth. All right? And we need to understand, when we understand our purpose, we understand what work we need, what needs to be done. All right? And what time. So... You know, so it requires order and organizing and prioritizing, all right? Yahweh Bashim is coming down hard on me with that. And I say to Wadi Yahweh Bashim for correcting me because he could just leave you like these reprobates for running around doing folly. But you know, he, he's taking time to get you in order for, the, for his great day, you know, judgment day. The great wedding day, you know. Uh, let's go to Ecclesiastes 8 and 6. But to every purpose there is a time and a judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. Alright, so we don't know when we will be judged. That's why you should be in order, so that when it's time for you to be judged, it won't throw you off balance entirely. It won't got you chaotic and sporadic, you know, like feeling wrong in the dark. Bumping into things and... <sighs> Yeah, 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 we can stumble and fall. So the scripture says the righteous man falls seven times. But you know, Yahweh was able to deliver deliver that man. Alright? So next precept. It's one of my favorite precepts. <coughs> this is Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the most high. It says all things work together. So when you fall, get back up. Keep that faith that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is is with you. All right. Keep that faith that you understand that this is this is a season for your affliction. This is a season for your for your blessing and so forth. You understand the balance. All right. Scripture says, "False balance abomination unto the Most High." Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right. Read it back again. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the Most High. To them who are called according to his purpose. And that's why I brought up this precept. Because everything is according to his purpose. And that's what the elect and the one third. Well the elect of Israel will do. They will align themselves. To how about Hashem Yahushai. Purpose and not their own purpose. You gotta, start, you gotta understand what purpose he made you for. Like how he made Esau the, the, um, the vessel for dishonor. And he made Israel the vessel for honor. And the heathens for dishonor as well. The other heathens. All right, we gotta understand that, and from then, that's how that's how we that's how we reach to this point of doing lessons and so forth. All right, 
And with that, I pray that this lesson is really fine. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and um, Mashinak Bad, Shalakyam of Great Moonstone, right? Shalom, Brachtah.